You're looking at two very big, strong guys here. The big difference. Look at the age right there. 27 to 34 and the record 10 and 3 compared to 37 and 1. Nemkov with a lot more experience. Here's Michael C. Williams. Tonight here at Bellator 257, our featured weight class, the light heavyweights. And let's go there now. Set for three five-minute rounds. We'll introduce first the blue corner at six foot two, weighing in 206 pounds even with the legend looking over his right shoulder. He makes his Bellator debut, entering with 30 professional victories, seven defeats, one draw, fighting out of Storyhorsko, Russia, presenting Viktor Nemkov. And across the cage, his adversary fighting out of the red corner at six foot two, weighing in 205 and three quarter pounds. His professional record 10 wins, three losses. He fights out of Stockholm, Sweden, King Carl Albrechtson. And your referee, Mike Beltran. Veteran referee Mike Beltran will oversee this light heavyweight contest. Albrechtson looking to move to one and one in Bellator MMA. Nemkov right, looking to make First a round. statement in his Bellator Good MMA fight. debut. On, let's go. The bell in round one. Albrechtson in the red gloves, Nemkov in the blue gloves, and in Nemkov's corner, the last emperor, the GOAT when it comes to heavyweights, Fyodor Emelianenko, and what a what a crew he's put together. Oh, he's got a fantastic fight. Oh, stiff jab by Nemkov. You're going to find out in the beginning of this fight, Nemkov's he has the advantage in speed. He is a quicker, faster fighter, but Albrechtson does have the advantage in power. And Nemkov's younger brother says he'll have the advantage in speed over Phil Davis in their rematch when they meet in the main event of Bellator 257 for the light heavyweight championship in the quarterfinals of the $1 million World Grand Prix. Albrechtson looking for the takedown immediately. Nemkov secures his neck. And he needs to be very careful with this right now. But Nemkov is very good with the guillotine. He can switch it up to a variety of different holds. Nemkov has three guillotine choke wins on his resume. 12 of his 30 victories have come via submission. You see him starting to put a lot of pressure on that right now. Albrechtson has never been submitted. Nice job by Albrechtson, just remaining calm, keeping his head pushed against Nemkov, delivering little knee strikes to give him a problem. He wants Nemkov to squeeze on this right now. He wants him to get his arms full of blood, lactic acid, make him heavy. That's going to help him in the fight. Albrechtson bounced back from his loss to Phil Davis in his Bellator debut in October of 2019, coming off a TKO victory in his native Sweden. That came last November. Nemkov again trying to put pressure on that hold. Leaning back with it. But you can just tell by the hand placement, by, by Albertson keeping his hands in that S grip right there, he's not having a ball with it and brings him down to the ground. He needs to be careful. Those legs can help extend on that guillotine. He needs to keep that weight driving forward. A lot of pressure. Nemkov told us this fight would end by submission, looking to do so in the first round, looking to make a memorable first impression in his Bellator MMA debut. Well, he's making a memorable impression, but this might not work On Albrechtson. the way he's thinking because Albrechtson is just staying with this. He's not able to finish it, and all of that squeezing is going to wear on his arms. His arms are going to be heavy for the rest of this round. This is a good position for Albrechtson. This is where Albrechtson does his work. He loves being in the top position and just working a heavy ground and pound. Albrechtson, a former ice hockey player looking to shoot and score with his strikes or submissions here from the close guard of Nemkov coming up on the final two minutes of the first frame. Five of Albrechtson's 10 victories. Half of his wins have come via form of knockout. Eight of his 10 wins have come inside the distance. So an aggressive 205. Watch your head, Carl. Slashing elbow strike across the bridge of the nose. That is not something that feels good. And you're going to see Albrechtson go to that elbow strike a lot. He loves delivering elbows. Wasn't able to do it when he was in the Ryzen organization. He's very happy he gets to do it here because he knows that it does damage. 
under a minute and a half remaining in the first round. Albrechtson with some elbow strikes from short distance and wrist control by Nemkov and Albrechtson continuing to diversify attacking the body with the elbows. Right now that wrist control is not working for Nemkov and one of the things you know when you talk about controlling wrist when you have someone's wrist they can still deliver that elbow like you're seeing Albrechtson deliver right there. Under a minute remaining in the opening round. Nemkov started the round with a, an attempt at a guillotine choke. It ends up with Nemkov on his back and Albrechtson now looking to score points with the judges by continuing to deliver those shots, those elbows. And not every punch is the same, not every strike is the same, but if it connects, it scores, John. And that's still a legal area. It's a good strike, but all of them are different, and the judges are they are tabulating that out in their heads, which ones are the most effective. Nice backhand by Carl Albrechtson coming right back in the guard. Final 20 seconds of the opening round on a night where the light heavyweights take center stage in the quarterfinals of the World Grand Prix coming up later tonight on Showtime. You are seeing two 205ers go at it here on the Bellator 257 prelims. The debuting Nemkov, the 0-1 Albrechtson in the Bellator cage. All right, gentlemen, second round. Better fight, better fight. Hell, let's go. This is round number two in the Bellator MMA light heavyweight division. King Carl Albrechtson in the red gloves, the Bellator MMA newcomer, Victor Nemkov in the blue gloves. Nemkov brothers in action tonight. Always got to be tough, John, when you have a sibling competing on the same card. Body kick by Albrechtson. I always wondered how difficult it is when you're watching your brother, your, your, your sister, your, your son. It's got to be horrible in the back because you, you want to be out there with them. In this position right now, you're seeing again going back to grabbing the neck. This is not good for Viktor Nemkov. This is exactly what Carl Albrechtson wants. He wants to bring the fight to the ground. He wants to take away any of the athleticism that Nemkov has and just use ground and pound. You've just watched the MMA version of Groundhog Day. Round two beginning the exact same way as round one, but this time Albrechtson escapes a lot sooner. He gets it to the ground much sooner. And his head is exactly. released. Exactly, and that head is released because the arms are tired. You can see even in the corner, I was watching in the corner, you saw them starting to shake, try to shake out his arms. He's looking at his arm, he's shaking it. It's telling you he squeezed hard and it had an effect. You know, Albrechtson told us, hey, obviously I'd like to knock him out. I think it's probably gonna be a grueling 15 minute war with the most determined guy being victorious in blood already now on the face of Nemkov. Yeah, Albrechtson opened him up with the elbow. And just these little slicing elbows, they don't look like a lot, but the elbow is, it's a bone, it's hard, it hurts. And even little shots. Ask Leota Machida how much the Ryan Bader elbows hurt last week. See, right now, look at the arm position of Nemkov. Not searching for underhooks, not doing anything with those arms because those arms are filled with lactic acid and they're heavy right now and he's just in a position just trying to breathe to get that oxygen into those muscles. It's tough, tough position right now for Viktor Nemkov. Albrechtson uh, telling us that Nemkov has a tendency that when he gets tired, he stays flat on his back. As you are seeing right now, but it's also Carl Albrechtson that's keeping him <laughs> flat on his back. Albrechtson doing a lot of good work here, and you're seeing that the posture of Albrechtson is starting to change. He's starting to actually posture up a little more, meaning that all those elbows are getting a little bit harder. Nemkov trying to get back to his feet. Meanwhile, Albrechtson mixing, mixing up his offense with punches and knees. That knee to the taking body. away the leg. Sorry, John. That knee to the body was well done and placed just beautifully. And energy being expended here by Nemkov to get back to his feet. He does so. Albrechtson leaning on him against the fence. Saw that big breath of air by Victor Nemkov. That is telling you he's a fighter. He's getting tired. Of course, in Russia, High altitude training in the mountains where 
That should boost your conditioning. I know Fedor Emelianenko always had an endless gas tank, John. No doubt about that. You know, he went through so many fights. Rounds sometimes, one round sometimes. And those 10-minute rounds. rounds in Japan oh. for Pride Fighting Championship. Now it's Nemkov with the jab on Albertson. Nemkov really should just look to stay to the outside of Albertson, use his length, use that jab. And there is the last emperor looking on so many incredible moments. Uh, one of the greatest heavyweight title fights ever in 2005 in Japan against Mirko Krokop, the man who came up with the blueprint to defeat who many thought was undefeatable at the time, the great striker Mirko Prokop as Nemkov and Albrechtson striking here in the final minute of round two, John. Albrechtson had landed a very good kick to the body and then Nemkov responded with that inside kick to the inner thigh, that hurts. Nice body shot by Albrechtson, but the Nemkov landed upstairs. And as, you're, as you're watching the comparison here, every time this fight gets into that phone booth, you're seeing Albrechtson land good shots. Every time it's in range, you're seeing that Nemkov is being able to land better shots. So, the final minute taking place in the stand-up here of this light heavyweight battle at Bellator 257. And speaking of stand-up fighting, Saturday, May 15th, 10 Eastern, 7 Pacific, Showtime Championship Boxing returns with a triple header presented by Premier Boxing Champions. Undefeated Super Bantamweights going toe-to-toe -to -toe for gold. The 31-0 Luis Neri puts his title on the line, attempts to add 21-0 Brandon Figueroa's secondary belt to his collection. This one has all the makings of a barn burner. Luis Neri against Brandon Figueroa. Someone Zo has got to go Saturday, May 15th, 10 Eastern, 7 Pacific, Showtime Championship Boxing. Right by Albrechtson bringing the hand over, the elbow shot. That's what ended up cutting Nemkov. Little tiny shots here. That's the swinging, slicing elbow you see it on the bridge of the nose. Third final round. Third and a final round here in the Bellator MMA light heavyweight division. How do you have it after two rounds, John, on your unofficial scorecard? So right now, I believe Nevkov needs a finisher. He needs a huge round. I have Albrechtson up in both the first and the second round. He gets a both 10 9, so you got to see something out of Nevkov. Um, Albrechtson changing levels, but He's got that. and again scoops him up for the takedown, and again Nemkov attacking the neck. And you need to, you, you got to look and say, have you not done that once? Have you not done that twice? Has it worked for you in these situations? Well, then let's go to something different in trying to defend that takedown. He needs to ask Bill Murray how Groundhog Day turned out for him, John. <laughs> yeah, something like Opening that. minute of the third and final round, and Albrechtson now trying to posture, trying to keep delivering those elbows that have paid dividends, cutting up Nemkov, has Nemkov pinned to the cage now. Trying to bust up his face with these slashing elbows. Yeah, no doubt Carl Albertson's is trying to bring back the memory of Mark Coleman here, the godfather of ground and pound, because he is just putting in work. Shout out to the hammer. He and Fedor Emelianenko cross paths. A couple of times. And Albrechtson trying to carve a successful path here in Bellator MMA, utilizing these short elbow strikes. Nemkov really needs to do something getting his back off of the canvas, just like what you, know, you had brought up. Albrechtson said, after watching him, when he gets tired, his back stays flat on the mat, and you are going nowhere with your back flat to the mat. So he's got, he's going to have to start to do something big time to get himself out of here. Ground control, complete dominance by Albrechtson as he looks to perhaps move to side control. Nemkov, a combat Sambo world champion. John, quickly, difference between Sambo and MMA. Well, when you're talking about Sambo came from the military, it was the military form for the Russians to 
utilize self-defense, and then it grew into combat sambo, which is the sporting aspect. How can he utilize his sambo background now to try to reverse his fortunes here against Al Braxton? Well, right now you're seeing him. See where those legs are placed right now? That's not going to get him out of the position where his arms are and everything. He's going to have to start to hook that leg inside, start to elevate the hips start to get the underhooks and he's doing none of those things right now really what he's doing is at times holding wrist now he's trying to punch a little bit with the pressure on top of him got to be careful where he places those punches but he's not doing anything to take and either reverse this position or get himself back to his feet referee mike beltran watching intently as albrechtson stays busy with these short strikes another elbow lands You can take a look at the strike stats here. 47 of 90, over 50%, 52% there. Nemkov landing 27 of 54, but those are from his back for the most part, which is telling you gravity is on the side of Albrechtson. He's landing the heavier strikes. You know, we talk about those 10 minute rounds in Japan as Albrechtson drops another elbow. He was victimized by Yuri Prochotska in a fight that lasted, well, nine minutes and 57 seconds of rising. So his conditioning has been tested in the past as well. Well, it has. You know, Under a minute left here in the fight. One of the things people need to look at, you're seeing, you're seeing both fighters strike here. You're seeing Nemkov from the bottom with these strikes. But the judge is going to give the, the, the emphasis to the, the fighter that is striking with more power. And there's no doubt that the elbow strikes from Albrechtson are outdoing the arm punches that Nemkov is de deploying right now. Albrechtson representing Pankrace, Jim Sweden, Omar Bush, Ludwig Albrechtson, his regular training partners, Hamzat Chameyev and Alexander Gustafsson, who he's trained with in the past, of course, a man very well known for his success. But Carl Albrechtson content to ride out here the third round, continuing to deliver these short strikes, making them count on the debuting Viktor Nemkov. Final 10 seconds of this light heavyweight encounter. And uh, Nemkov and Albrechtson are going to the judges' scorecards. Let's uh, find out who won this light heavyweight tilt. Here's Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, having gone the distance, we'll go to your three judges at cage side. Your first, David Peabody, 30-27. Doug Crosby, 30-27. And your final judge, Dave Torelli, 30 to 27. I'll have it for the winner by unanimous decision, King Carl Albrechtson. King Carl Albrechtson crowning the debuting Victor Nemkov with a series of elbows, and he grinds out the unanimous decision win. His first under the Bellator banner, he is now one and one, 11 and three overall. And Victor Nemkov tasting defeat in his Bellator MMA debut. He drops to 30. Eight and one, and 